allow me to share my screen. Good day to you. My name is Professor Alex Xiao from the Information Systems and Analytics Department of the School of Computing of the National University of Singapore. Today, I want to talk about the use of AI and machine learning in business, paying particular attention to the role of AI ML in business transformation, ethical use of these technologies and to sustainable development. The application of artificial intelligence in the enterprise is profoundly changing the way businesses work. Companies are incorporating AI technologies into their business operations with the aim of saving money, boosting efficiency, generating insights and creating new markets. But the aim of course is to increase profitability through increasing revenue. How AI can help? AI can help in many areas of businesses. One of the first areas of application is in enhancing customer service and through that, enhance revenue from customers. Other users are enhancing cybersecurity and increasing productivity. Customer experience or CX is an important competitive differentiator for businesses today. And AI is mission critical to the success of the businesses. Over 75% of CX decision makers agree that advancement in AI and self-service technology are among the most important factors for determining the future success of the CX program. Other key factors to CX success, such as predictive and proactive service options, as well as interaction with customer and customer journey analytics are all made more effective and powerful with AI. Let's take a contact center as an example how AI-led operational position improves customer service. The best AI tools leverage cloud technology and data to deliver powerful support, solutions, and an incredible level of operational precision in contact centers across some key areas. And some of the ways AI helps is to resolve more cases with improved accuracy automating repetitive processes, allowing agents to focus on higher order tasks. It can help to deliver faster service, reduce escalation and enhance performance. And discover patterns hidden deep in the vast amounts of customer interaction data and boost performance results with pre predictive recommendations. AI also help better predict future outcomes to analyze patterns and historical data and create models that can predict customer behavior more accurately. It can also help reduce agent stress by eliminating search and browsing tasks with proper AI recommendations. Provide agents with intelligent guidance, recommending next best actions, simplify how agents receive recommended next steps or next best action by proactively delivering information in a single interface and not have to search everywhere for information. Detect and react quickly when something goes wrong without any manual intervention. So with all this, do we still need humans? AI is only part of the equation for customer experience. Humans remain essential in establishing high value, loyal and satisfied customer relationships. 
In CX environments, too many businesses make the mistake of integrating AI and machine learning with a goal to replace human service. On the other end of the equation, customer-led organizations use AI to automate tactical low complexity transactions and seek to equip agents to connect more deeply, personally and effectively with customers. And that I feel is the better use of AI technology rather than to replace human service. Not even the smartest technology can solve a problem it wasn't designed to solve. So AI cannot teach itself to evoke compassion, empathy, or connection, characteristics that today's consumers actually seek from the brands they choose to do business with. Simply put, AI just cannot teach itself to be human. Companies that fail to use AI to equip their agents to be more responsive, effective, and empathetic are at a critical disadvantage. As the application of AI penetrates deeper and becomes more interconnected with us, we need to be mindful of how this interaction with AI, which we have created, should be. Engaging with AI in an ethical and responsible way will perhaps save us from a doom so described by Stephen Hawking. So what do we then mean by ethical AI? Appropriate data acquisition where the data has been acquired from and how the data will be used. It is also important to evaluate how the sources of data and users of data have been or will be affected as a result of this data acquisition. Next is data set as suitability. How representative is the data? Does data set exclude or marginalize any particular group of stakeholders? Does application of AI solve problems and make life easier for a broad segment of mankind, or is it limited to only a small portion of the community, especially if the AI uses up resources of the community, including community data set, the output should not be limited to only a selected group of the community. Is there a properly thought through control and governance structure to ensure that there is proper framework for the implementation monitoring feedback and review, in particular where AI algorithm touches on sensitive or private or risky issues in areas where regulatory governance is weak, it will be useful for leading organizations to take a lead on such initiatives. Since AI's algorithm taps onto rather sensitive domains, in some instances, it would be helpful if these algorithms could be explained to data sources so that there is no misunderstanding no misinterpretation on the intention and use of the AI application. Just as proper governance is important for responsible engagement with AI, we need to make sure that there is accountability on the engagement with AI. Who is in charge of the decisions made by the AI? To make sure that AI goals are aligned with human goals, the design and development of the AI needs to be guided by, by values of the organization, which we assume are based on ethics and are socially responsible. The human beings has always dreamt of creating robots that will lighten our tasks, make our life easier. To this end, we need to bear in mind the consequences of this enlightening. We should be the master of the machines. We should be the ones setting the ground rules for the existence and operation of the machine. 
In an increasingly competitive business environment, it is inevitable that businesses would leverage on all resources to maximize their revenue. But such development should not be at the expense of humanity. AI can become smarter over time with training, which means in the long run, it is possible that AI could make decisions that take into account of moral, cultural, and religious values simply through machine learning, provided that the data set is ethical and responsible. Would not that mean that over time, humanity is replaceable by robots? A question that we posed earlier, which we answered that not possible unless we train the machine to be human. Would the artificial intelligence ever be able to feel the complexity of emotions that humans feel and make spontaneous decisions based on emotions? The question would then be, are human needs the same as AI needs, even at the same level of engagement, output, and performance? Machines learn through iterative processes. The more experience a machine has, the deeper its level of understanding. However, machines don't have needs simply because they don't feel. There are simply processes created to execute specific tasks and functions. However, for the collaborations to be successful between AI and humans, there has to be trust in order that AI can grow the business for the organization. The stakeholders of the organization, its employees, its clients, its vendors, its regulators, and so on, must first trust the AI. So what does this collaboration with AI mean? AI augments human performance. In most business settings, AI does not have the ability to make crucial decisions. However, it does have the power to provide greater insights and support to ensure that you make the right decisions faster. Machine learning allows AI to analyze data points at much greater speed than a person ever could, while also eliminating the risk of data entry errors that so often occur during manual work. AI's automation capabilities means it is increasingly being used to streamline mundane tasks and give workers more time for high level activities. This can make companies more efficient by lowering operating costs and improving productivity. In other words, as AI continue to advance, it will eventually help us to do our own jobs better. As AI applications become more complex and more ingrained in day-to-day -day life, there will also be an increased need for individuals who can explain the findings and decisions generated by machine. So supervision of AI application will also be necessary to ensure that unwanted outcomes such as discrimination and even racism are detected and eliminated to prevent harm. Preventing bias in data set is largely a manual effort that will always require human intervention. An IBM chief scientist pointed out that even if machines get equipped with a clearly defined, universally accepted value systems, their inability to truly feel consequences on an emotional level, like a human could, make them imperfect ethical actors. To trust computer decisions, ethical or otherwise, people need to know how an AI system arrives at its conclusions and recommendations. AI application developers must be transparent about what the system is doing 
as he interacts with us. So the key is transparency on how information is used and providing user control. There will always be a trade-off between utility and privacy that each user should be able to make that choice for themselves. Ultimately, it is only through collective effort as a civilization that we will be able to achieve harmonious and meaningful collaboration with machine. In addition to large organizations like Google, Microsoft, and Intel, who already have a collection of experts to further the agenda of deploying AI to creating impact for communities, there are several global initiatives that try to harness the collective expertise from all parts of the world to create artificial intelligence solutions that make a difference. Omdana is a global platform where organizations build AI models for social good. The Omdana AI for Good Challenge is not a competition, but a call for collaboration. What the platform does is to seek to pull together extensive data, which would otherwise have not been possible for objective and non-biased machine learning to make AI inclusive by utilizing available open source tools and for the community to bond, to connect and to build trust, hence leading eventually to adoption of the AI technology, ultimately to solve social problems. AI for Good Foundation is another similar cross-region platform that was founded in 2015 to leverage on science research and expertise to create social impact and solutions for sustainable development. And so in 2030, uh, the agenda for sustainable development that is adopted by all United Nations member states in 2015 provides a shared blueprint for peace and prosperity for people and the planet now and into the future. At its heart are the 17 sustainable development goals, which are an urgent call for action by all countries developed and developing in a global partnership. They recognize that ending poverty and other deprivation must go hand in hand with strategies that improve health and education, reduce inequality and spur economic growth all while tackling climate change and working to preserve our oceans and forests. Examples for use of AI to achieve the UN SDGs, AI powered object detection, which is also at the core of a new application that could bring relief to an estimated 250 million people worldwide who are visually impaired, most of whom live in developing countries. The free Microsoft app, which works through a smartphone, uses AI to recognize friends and describe people and specific objects such as currency bills for the visually impaired. Two critical bottlenecks that will need to be overcome are problems with data accessibility and a chronic shortage of talent able to improve AI capabilities, improve models and implement solutions. AI application does not come risk-free. Its tools and techniques can be misused by authorities and others, or be subject to unintentional misuse, sometimes harming the very people they are intended to help. However, these obstacles are not insurmountable. To improve data accessibility, for example, collectors and generators of data, whether government or companies, will need to grant greater access to NGOs and others seeking to use the data for public service. The talent shortage could be addressed through conscious acts of altruism by technology companies and others who employ highly skilled AI talent. AI is not a silver bullet for all of humanity's problems, but it has the potential to be a formidable tool in the toolkit. For that to happen, we need to encourage the development of applications and push for them to be used 
at scale in a responsible and thoughtful manner. During the World Economic Forum in Davos in 2018, the PwC report reviewed eight game changers that address Earth challenges, and they are, as listed here, autonomous and connected electric vehicles, distributed energy grids, smart agriculture, weather forecasting and climate modeling, a community disaster response data and analytics platform, decentralized water, AI design, intelligent connected and livable cities, and oceans data platform. We will now briefly look at responsible AI practices to provide you with a general appreciation of what constitutes responsible AI practices. As mentioned in preceding slide, the use of AI needs to be supervised to eliminate biasness, unfair practices, and discrimination. In particular, it is important to have proper data governance to protect the underlying sources of data. Responsible AI should place people at the center. The consideration given should always to be to protect the interests of stakeholders. It should never be to gain at the expense of or compromising the interests of its human collaborators. As far as possible, we use multiple metrics to train and monitor the AI. This will help us understand the relationship between the different metrics and their interaction with the AI and to understand the limitations of the data set and the model. Does your data contain any mistakes? Is your data sample in a way that represents your users? For example, will it be used for all ages, but you only have training data from senior citizens? And the real world settings, for example, the app will be used all the year round, but you only have training data from the summer. So is the data accurate? During training, we try to identify potential skills and work to address them, including by adjusting training data or objective functions. During evaluation, continue to try to get evaluation data that, as, that is as representative as possible of the deployed setting. Are any features in our model redundant or unnecessary? We need to constantly test, review, and update the data set and adapt the model to make sure this takes into account of changes that take place. There also has to be a consistent feedback loop that involves engagement with all stakeholders who may be affected or impacted by decisions made by AI. Google develops their AI based on these guiding principles. We're talking about responsible AI examples. Google says that AI should be socially beneficial. AI should avoid creating or reinforcing unfair bias, be built and tested for safety, be accountable to people, incorporate privacy design principles, uphold high standards of scientific excellence, and Google will only accept and roll out applications which are in accordance with these principles. Microsoft is also guided by a set of similar guidelines in their development of AI. Microsoft categorizes their AI initiatives into four areas, AI for accessibility, AI for the earth, AI for humanitarian action, and AI for cultural heritage. This brings me to the close of my presentation. And uh, what we have done is uh, started with uh, how AI has been used to transform business primarily in uh, customer setting, in enhancing revenue through enhancing customer experience and into ethical use, responsible use of AI 
and into sustainable development. And a responsible use of AI will be something that will really enhance our lives and going into the future. Thank you very much.